What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be throwing it back a little bit and we are going to be getting behind the wheel of the world's first Mustang. That's right, baby. We've got a 1965 Mustang right here. Technically, these started producing in March of 64, but the actual like model year, the official name of it was the 65 Mustang. And uh, I'm excited, man. Like I was, I was looking through the cars. If you guys don't know, there are 127 cars in this game. And there are honestly some really cool options down here towards the front. I mean, we've got a 77 Firebird with a 10 out of 10 customization rating. We've got the Fair Lady Z. We've got the, the Camaros and the Barracuda kudas and all kinds of stuff like that like there's some really cool stuff back here that we haven't messed with you know obviously we've we've kind of focused on the supercars and the hypercars and stuff like that up until this point but um there's there's a lot more in this game that we're going to be able to do and uh, and kind of mix it up a little bit so uh yeah like i said 65 mustang i'm actually really excited about this i would love to own one of these at some point in my life i've always been a big mustang fan and i just i feel like it'd be so cool to roll around uh, in one of these things, but you guys can see it's going to cost us $23,500. It's a level 101 stock. That is not very good. So let's go ahead and purchase this thing. We're going to pull it out of the lot, and uh, I think we are going to be absolutely amazed at how slow it is. I mean, the mid-range, honestly, no, it's pretty bad. I was going to say, pulling away, it was really, really slow. It kind of sped up a little bit in the middle, but uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, she's, she's leaves a little bit to be desired. There's no doubt about that. So I, I think an engine swap is going to be in order. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll consider it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we are definitely going to engine swap. We're going to have a lot of fun with this, and uh, we are going to turn this from pretty much a zero to a hero. So let me see what we've got here for performance. We can go ahead and do an engine swap and uh, hold on, let's let's listen to it stock. See, that's actually a pretty nice sound and I really wish we could stay with it, but there's no way we can race at the 100 level. So we are definitely gonna swap this thing out. Let me see what our max option is. 721 horsepower, 3.8 liter V6. Could have a 730 horsepower V12. How about a V8? We're gonna go with the big daddy. $610,000 here. 721 horsepower, forged 3.8 liter V6. And we're gonna be able to bring this thing up to 1,400. And 30 horsepower with some upgrades. <laughs> this is gonna be so ridiculous, dude. I'm I'm excited for it though. I'm down. So we've already got some some ultimate parts here in our inventory, luckily. So we're we're not gonna have to uh not gonna gonna have to buy most of these. Let me make sure we're getting the most out of our, our forced induction here. It actually looks like the, the ultimate dual turbo, twin turbo, is gonna be our best option. So we we can $62,000. It's pretty expensive, but we're going to go ahead and go for that. Uh, of course, you guys know we're going to go for our, our ultimate nitrous. I'm going to say, let's get five three-pound tanks. That's a little bit more understandable. It's a little bit more more useful, I think. Bam! There it is. We're all done. We have a 1,400 horsepower, 384 rating, 1965 Mustang. This is going to be so insane, dude. I'm so excited for this. And uh, let's get into our customization. Let's make this thing look as good as she's going to perform. So I'm going to take a look at some of the community options here for uh, for paints and wraps and stuff and see what we're working with. I mean, you kind of had to know this was coming. The gun in 60 seconds, Eleanor right here. She's uh, she's a pute. That would, that would be a, a good one to go for. We've also got a white and black look here. There's a, uh, oh, this is like Ken Block's Hoonigan Mustang, which uh, isn't, isn't too bad. It's not loading. There it is right there. All right, that's not too bad. We've got the flames. We've got green and black. I'm thinking we're going to go, I, I, I think we've got to go with Eleanor, dude. She is a, uh, she's an absolute beaut, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that up. There we go. We're going to keep it nice and classy, but we're also going to maybe get a, a little bit crazy here. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll see what happens. So let me see what we've got for front bumpers. This should have a decent amount here for, uh, for customization. We've got a lot of off-road options, bull bars and stuff. I don't know if I like all that. I might, um, I might go with something like this. I feel like that makes it a little bit more unique 
It looks pretty good. We'll we'll keep it for now. <laughs> We've got some snow plows up front if we want them, or we can go with uh, with the alchemist. I'm gonna go with the alchemist here. Let me see what we have for uh, for grills. Ah, oh, we're gonna be able to take it off. I'm sorry, I love the pony, but I I feel like that looks that looks pretty clean right there. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna smoke out these headlights. Looks pretty solid, and then uh, let's see if we've got a nice hood for Ellie here. I'm gonna go with the, the little hood scoop. What do we have for fenders here? Looks like we've got some speed hunters or some other speed hunters. Ah, man, you want me to be honest? I don't I don't think I love it. Let me see what the, the rear fenders look like. I mean, that's, that's a little bit better. I think I might put the rear ones on, but I don't think I'm gonna put the front ones on. I feel like I kind of like that look a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to rock with that. So for side skirts, we've got our stock ones, which actually look pretty good. I'm thinking I'm going to stay with stock. I feel like the stock looks looks solid there. And uh, then for the rear bumper, we've got uh, a few different options. Ooh, ooh, yeah, we've got some interesting ones here. I'm going to say... I'm going to go with this. It kind of deletes the, the bar across the back. I don't know. I, I feel like that looks decent. What do we have for rear diffusers? Can get kind of crazy, can stay fairly normal. I'm gonna say, shoot, dude, I don't I don't know that I really like any of them, if you want me to be completely honest. What do we want to go for exhaust here? <laughs> we could go for something totally ridiculous. <laughs> something like that would be so funny, dude. Why not, man? Whatever. Let's let's mix this thing up a little bit. I guess we can throw a diffuser on there just for some fun. Just to uh, to change change the uh, the vibe a bit. For tail lights, ooh, I like that. Kind of a more futuristic look. All right, not looking too bad. And uh, you guys might murder me for this, but I'm thinking we're gonna go for possibly a crazy wing. Possibly a crazy spoiler. A, a duck tail would look good on something like this. But I'm almost, eh. I mean, to be honest, I feel like the duck tail looks super solid and it kind of lets you see that cool trunk lid. This is the, the wing kind of kind of covers up the trunk lid. I think I'm gonna go with the ducktail. I think we've done a ducktail on pretty much every muscle car so far, but I honestly I like I like the look a lot. All right, so we're rocking with all that. Mirrors, what do we want to change up for mirrors? I mean, it'd be kind of cool to throw them up here, but I think uh, I, I just I don't really like the stock mirrors. Those aren't bad. What do you guys think here? I'm I'm gonna go for it. Like I said, we're we're gonna get real weird in this episode, and uh, we're we're gonna change things up. We're not gonna stick with the uh, the norm. So now we're gonna get into rims. We've got a, a ton of different options here. They have quite a few good looking muscle car rims in this game. So we've just got to find the one that tickles our fancy. Honestly, it might be kind of cool to put like a new school RTR rim on an old school Mustang. So I'm gonna go with the uh, the RTR Tech Five here. And uh, and hopefully that's hopefully that's gonna look pretty decent. Don't want to make them that that might be too big right there. Hold on, can we see it from a different angle? Yeah, that's a little bit too big. I actually think I'm gonna go one one more under on on size, make them just a little bit smaller. And I feel, I mean, once we lower it, I feel like that's actually gonna look look pretty decent. I don't know. Like I said, it's it's not really traditional, so uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure how I feel about it, but. Um, not not too bad, and we added in some some huge brake discs with the Brembo calipers on there. This thing is uh, is being brought into into the new school, so I feel like overall it's it's not bad, but um, I don't know. It's just different, I guess is is all I'm saying. What do you guys want to go for? Uh, go for our, our license plate. I think Eleanor, right? It's E L E A N O R. I'm pretty sure. Eleanor, shout out to that movie. If you guys haven't seen that movie, it's a little bit older, but it's honestly, it's it's really, really good. What do we want to have? I might, I might go for a license plate cover on there, and then let me see what we can do for our background. Obviously, we want to make it a bit, a bit more black and white. We could add the red. I'm gonna go with something like that. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. Do we want the do we want the frame on there? I honestly, I mean, sometimes, I guess once you buy the frame, you can't take it off. Oh, you can take it off. I'm going to take it off. I don't know. License plate frames are, are kind of kind of weird to me. But, uh, yeah, there we have it. All right. That's looking pretty solid. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our, um, into our stance. We're definitely going to lower this thing a bit. Maybe not too much, but a little bit. Do we want any camber or anything? I don't, I don't think so. And uh, let's take a listen to our exhaust. <laughs>
I mean, I I think it sounds pretty crazy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, we we kind of created a bit of a monster here, but uh, let's get her outside and uh, let's see what she can do. <laughs> let's go, baby! Oh my goodness, this thing is insane. I'm actually really glad that we, we got out there a little bit. Even the, the exhaust, the turned up exhaust that are kind of pointed up in the air. I didn't think I was really going to like that. I was just kind of doing it to be silly. But honestly, I feel like it looks pretty good. And you can definitely see a lot more of the, the backfires and stuff, which is, uh, is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, dude, this thing is an absolute monster. I cannot believe what we've done to this. A 65 Mustang with 1,400 horsepower. That is just outrageous. But the looks and the sound are only half the story here. We gotta see how she performs. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Try to put that power to the ground. That thing sounded so insane right there. Let's get it. Oh, we are so fast. This is outrageous, dude. It actually feels pretty good in a straight line, too. Try to come around here. Oh, see how she corners? Not bad. This is a, um, I think it's a level 330 race for like a level 380 total. So we are a, a little, a little high in level, but uh, it, it should be a fairly decent race. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens here. But so far, I'm actually really impressed with the, uh, the handling. We did our normal setup where we go, I think I usually do a showcase differential and then I put on-road tires on and track everything else oh my goodness this thing is so fast it's like a bullet it's literally a, a silver bullet I did not mean to hit my nitrous right there just messed that up but we're okay we're gonna be fine we're gonna be fine yeah it actually it feels pretty solid around the corners that I'm, I'm kind of surprised about if you guys remember like five to ten episodes ago we did a, a modern era Mustang I don't remember exactly what year it was but uh, we put like 900 horses in it, and it was really hard to control. Like it, I feel like once you got used to it, it could be pretty solid, but it was just very, very, very loose, even with all track tires on. Whereas this thing, I feel like it's, it just keeps on going. Like whatever you throw at it, it just keeps going. If you're going in a straight line, I can make these little, little adjustments like this so we don't go flying off the map, kind of like we did in the Beetle we did. But also when I want to get around corners and I want to slide and I want to get into a little drift, oh, we're coming in a little hot. But when I want to slide, it can actually slide pretty well too. I wonder how it would perform off of, uh, off of a wet surface, but overall this thing is, this thing is pretty solid, dude. I'm, I'm happy with our investment. The near million dollar Mustang made another one of them. But uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be well worth it. Ooh. Yeah, dude, even going off road, this thing just eats everything that comes out. I, I don't understand. This thing is so solid. I'm not even using nitrous, and we are absolutely destroying these guys. This is beautiful. And the styling is actually super, super solid as well. I don't know. I think this. I think this might be one of my favorite cars that we've made in this game so far. I wish it was something that you guys could could feel with me, you know what I mean? Like, all the cars feel so different in this game, but this thing just feels very, very well put together. So I think we did a, I think we did a pretty good job. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing out. We got 9% left. And uh, I don't know, we may, we may take it underground. I may throw, we didn't throw any neons on there, so I may throw some neons just for fun. Like I said, this is not your your grandfather's Mustang, and um, let's take this thing underground to some more intense races. So you guys can see we went with the red underglow, and uh, I don't know, I was, I was thinking about it, like, I mean, with the black and gray car, we could have gone with pretty much any color. I was thinking about going a little bit crazier with, not crazy, but like, something a little less common, like a, a lime green or a mint or something like that, I feel like would look kind of cool, but um, I don't know. I just feel like with the vibe we have going here and the you know, black and red is just always such a good combo. Silver and red, black and red, whatever. Same same difference, really. It, uh, I, I feel like it, it makes it look a little bit meaner. We also had the, uh, the Brimbo brakes in red. So overall, I feel like it completes the package a bit more. It does look a little bit more traditional, but uh, I mean, really, 
I don't think, uh, ooh, shoot, okay. McLaren's balling today. I, I don't think, I don't think Underglow belongs on any Mustang, no matter what the color is, so the fact that it's even on here is, is interesting and different enough for me. Whew, back out in front, here we go. Dude, this thing is so fast, beautiful turn there. All right, use a little bit of, a little bit of nitrous. We've got a straight here, We're gonna try to build up a lead as much as we can. We gotta be careful, that is not a fun intersection. Oh my God. Bro, everything comes at you so fast in this. I really love it and I hate it at the same time. This is one of the, in my opinion, one of the more challenging races on this game. There's a lot of, of small, crazy corners through intersections. And if you don't hit it perfectly, you really get slowed down in the, the off-road sections. We're okay so far. Whew. These guys are close on our tail. But see what I mean? Like, there's a lot of smaller but fairly sharp corners that are just i mean okay kind of missed that checkpoint a little bit there got a little bit too far outside of it 90 degree turns like this are easy because you just pop the e-brake but the little ones that are a little more aggressive are harder to get sideways and make sure that you make sure that you keep your speed through them are you kidding me I was looking at my speed, I was looking at the gas station thinking about refilling my nitrous and that car just literally pulled out in front of us <laughs> We're okay though. I mean, we were probably going a little too fast for conditions, if you want me to be honest. Got around him, clutch, all right. Dude, this is such an insane race. This is so competitive and we, I mean, I think this is recommended for level 350, we're a 380. So we definitely did still have the advantage, but things are, uh, things are, are getting a little bit hairy. A lot of our, our higher profile cars, we're level 400 plus, so we're many, many levels above the competition. Makes even the hardest races fairly easy. When you're down here, it's it's a bit different, but uh, it does look like we're gonna be able to get it done. Let's go, baby. 500 yards remaining. That is how you race a race. That's what I'm talking about. All right, speaking of level 400 races, I say, let's go do one. Let's find, let's find a level 400. So 300, I'm looking for 400s. I found one, but the cops are kind of close, so I'm gonna let him pass by. And we're gonna sneak right on through here. Oh, that was actually, that was pretty good. He was about to find us, we ducked down into the, oh shoot, there's another one. Shoot, 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 shoot. I'm gonna go ahead and Dive off here, make sure he can't find us. Let's go. Getting a little evasive here, huh, Trev? I like it. But uh, yeah, we got a level 400 race over here. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a challenge. We're under leveled. We're gonna have to let our racing do the talking, and uh, let's let's see what Ellie's got, man. I don't know. It's it's gonna be pretty tough, but um, I'm down for a challenge. Got a feeling this is gonna be a little bit a uh, little bit one-sided, but uh, we're we're gonna try our best. We're gonna make sure we're staying on top of our nitrous. Shoot, dude. I'm seeing lots of Italian stallions out here. We're gonna put the uh, the American made one up to the test. Come on, baby. Oh, dude, yeah, they're they're just they're much faster. We're gonna have to get very creative with our our shortcuts and stuff, dude. These guys are flying. We're okay. We've got branches rolling through the streets and stuff. We've got a bit of a jump, but then we've got to turn right. Okay. We're all right. I mean, in a straight line, Eleanor does her thing. I keep calling her Ellie and it makes me miss The Last of Us. Really excited for The Last of Us too. But yeah, in a straight line, she's she's getting it done. Even in in hard corners, she gets it done. But we just, I don't think we have that mid-range acceleration that some of these guys have. So we, we need the straights to get our speed up and be able to carry that through. Come on, baby. Oh, hit that e-brake a little bit too early. We're okay. We're, we're still up here in the top three. If we can podium, I mean, I'd be, I'd be fairly happy with that. I'd like to do a little bit better, but... All right, that section was, was not our best. We're okay. We're 33% of the, of the race. There's still a lot of race left. We're okay. Whew. First and second are, are definitely starting to pull away here now. 
we're gonna have to get this get this back together. Got a bit of a right hand turn. Yeah, dude, in the straights we get it done. Oh my god! What is happening? Let's go, Ellie! Come on! Dude. The problem is, is we just have to push so hard. There is no forgiveness at speeds like this. You make one little mistake. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. shoot. Come on. Go, 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 go. You make one little mistake, you're just done. We're able to hang in there so far. Come on. Just going straight. We need more nitrous, dude. That's... We're kind of... At the the bottom of our nitrous oh my gosh did I I wanted to go inside and then he was in the inside line and then it was too late to go outside I hate all the traffic man I hate 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 the traffic we're okay yeah we're getting killed in these turns that's our that's our problem we just can't carry the speed through them but we're we're still gonna try about two-thirds of the way there, a little over two-thirds of the way. Dude, this was an insane... That middle section, I don't know how we're still racing. I really don't. I truly, truly don't. All right, so we've got a long straight through here. Luckily, we've evaded all the cops. We're back at a second place. First is right up here. There's first. Oh, my gosh. Shoot, he kind of took the inside there. I don't know what... I don't know what savagery he's on, but I don't I don't know how he pulled off that corner. Oh baby. Up at a first ish. We just can't do we can't we can't keep the speed through the corners like these guys. Come on, baby! 90% of the way there. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight all the way to the finish. So we might. Oh no, dude, are you kidding me? What? I don't know how we didn't fit in there. I thought we were going to slide right in there and just be wedged in between the two of them and then create like a little little head-to-head, -head, you know, rub some doors, make it all the way to the finish. I tried. We were very, very close, dude. Like, I'm, I'm impressed with that performance. We definitely could have had an easy second place if we would have backed off at the end there. Instead, we went for first and we ended up with third. But uh, I guess... I guess you can't be too upset with that. This thing was a monster. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm just going to go ahead and take her back to the garage. And uh, I think we are going to call that a night. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe. Let me know what car you guys want to see next. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.